What's up guys? It's Crystal here. I am back with another review video for you guys and quick disclaimer, this is a sponsored video. I was reached out by uh, VT Cosmetics and they wanted me to try out their Sika skincare line. So as always, this is going to be 100% my honest opinions and how I feel about these products specifically for my skin. And because I will be reviewing these products one by one, it might be a little long. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the first product. So this is the Sika Hyalon Sika Essence Sun. This is about 30 US dollars and has 60 milliliters of product inside. This is a sunscreen with SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 and it protects the skin from strong ultraviolet rays while still keeping your skin moist and fresh. The formula boosts moisturizing, non-greasy, non-cloudy, transparent UV protection and blocks UV rays with the highest ratings. The sun essence claims to have adherence to the skin with moisture and no congested feelings. It also claims to not give a white cast on the skin and absorbs quickly. So typically how you would use this product is that you wanna use it every day before at least 20 to 30 minutes before you leave the house or have any kind of exposure to the sun and what i like to do before i apply it is to shake it up because i noticed that there is a little bit of separation between the sunscreen and a little bit of this oil looking thing and i'm pretty sure it is oil but you want to like shake it up to mix all of that together and i like to put like a nickel size like a pea size a little bigger than a pea size on the back of my hand and i like to dot it all over my face and then pat it in until it's absorbed into my skin so that's typically how i would use the sunscreen now that you know a little bit about the product let's go ahead and dive into the first impression of the product hey guys so it's going to be my first impression of the sika essence sunscreen this is what it looks like i'm just gonna squeeze some in the back of my hand it has like a strong medicinal smell to it which is makes sense because the whole line or this thing is Sika so there's like a little bit of like an oiliness on the bottom of this I don't know if you can see I think I should have shaken this sunscreen up before I put it on but it's okay It while patting. This is the most unflattering angle. Oh my god. <laughs> kind of has like a scent to. Yeah, you can definitely smell the sunscreen in this <laughs> with the mix of the um, Sika or Satella Asiatica. But it's very, very lightweight. I don't know if you can tell, but it doesn't look like there's gonna leave any white cast. Actually, there's like no white cast or anything. My skin doesn't feel stuffy either or like greasy right now. It feels really lightweight and it absorbed into the skin fairly quickly. So that's very impressive for sunscreen. But I'm going to go ahead and wear this for the rest of the day and then check back in tonight. And we'll see how my skin is. So it has been over 10 hours since I wore the sunscreen and it didn't really break me out or anything but it does feel a little sticky so that's the only thing i noticed um yeah so far so good for the sunscreen but of course i'm going to use it every day for two weeks and we will check back in two weeks so now that you guys know about my first impression of the sunscreen, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my two-week impression of it. And as always, we're going to go ahead and dive right into the pros or what I enjoyed about the sunscreen. Before we do that, I do want to say that every single one of these products, except for the spot patches, has a very strong medicinal herbal scent to it. Uh, every single one of these, except for the spot treatment. So just keep that in mind. So the first thing I liked about the sunscreen is that it is very lightweight. I really enjoy the formula being lightweight because some formulas feel really heavy and greasy, but not only did, was this lightweight, it was non-greasy and non-sticky and it absorbed really quickly into the skin. On top of that, 
it didn't even give a white cast. I will go ahead and play a clip of me putting it on the back of my hand and then shining a really bright light on it so you can see if it gives a white cast or not. But personally, I didn't notice a white cast from the sunscreen and it had a really matte finish to it. So if you really like matte finished sunscreens, this is perfect for that because like I said, there's a lot of sunscreens that give a really dewy finish or shiny finish and some people are not into that. I am one of those people that aren't really into the really shiny sunscreens, so I really like that it was matte. It also did not break me out at all either. So now that you guys know what I enjoyed about the sunscreen, let me go ahead and talk about what I didn't enjoy about the sunscreen. Not much cons, but there are some. The first thing I want to talk about is the way it smells. Like I said, it does have a herbal medicinal smell to it, but it also has a mixed scent of sunscreen to it too. And I'm really not a big fan of sunscreen smells. And I feel like you would know what I mean if you are the type to use a lot of body sunscreens. It smells a lot like body sunscreen. And I just, it, it doesn't linger for too long, but I just don't like the mixture of those two scents together and that's just a personal preference the other thing i want to talk about is that it says it's moisturizing but i think it's only moisturizing in the beginning once it starts to set it's a lot more on the drier side but that could be just specifically for my skin lately my skin has been feeling dehydrated so that might be it but that's what i've noticed the past two weeks of using the sunscreen all right so moving on we're going to the next product and it is the zika capsule masks here and there is 10 of the capsule masks in each box and each of them are 7.5 grams each. You can get it for around 38 US dollars. This is a wash off green clay mask that is meant to brighten and revitalize dull skin while calming tired skin and removing dead skin cells and absorbs excess sebum through powerful moisturizing and hydration. The mask is made out of clay, green tea extracts and jasmine orange extracts which help with pore care and sebum absorption and helps the skin feel moisturized without that tight sensation. So how you would typically use the capsule mask is that after cleansing and toning your face, you want to apply it on a dry face and they come in this size. I will tell you that there is a decent amount of product in here and because I used it for two weeks, twice a week, I basically use one capsule a week because I would use one and there's still so much left over that I would either... Uh, washi tape it closed or put it in a small sandwich bag and like make sure there's no air in it and use it a couple days later just because there's just so much product in here but um yeah that's how much i would normally use it but you would just apply a decent amount all over your face avoiding the eye area and you would let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and then after that you'll rinse it off with lukewarm water so easy enough it is a clay wash off mask so i'm gonna go ahead and show my clip of my first impression of the mask and we'll come back. Hello, so I'm going to be trying the Suka capsule mask for the first time and I already washed my face and dried it. Normally I like to exfoliate before using this but because this product talks about exfoliation I decided to go ahead and try it without exfoliating and see how that goes. Um, There's like a super refreshing feeling to this mask. It feels really like calming and chill. And as you can tell when I was spreading it, it spread so easily. It wasn't very, very thick. And like there's like little bumps in the uh, mask. So I think that's what is used to kind of help exfoliate uh, the skin. But so far, 
not much of a irritation sensation. I really like the coolness and the calming sensation right now. It's kind of like when you like chew a really minty gum or when you eat a peppermint, that's what it feels like. So I'm gonna let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and we will check back. Okay, so it has been 15 minutes since I applied the mask on and for the most part it dried up. It doesn't look that dry, like some clay masks look really dry and it cracks, but this one doesn't like look dry nor does it feel dry and I'm like touching my face and it's like not coming on my hands at all. Yeah, so it's completely dry and my face still can move super easily under this clay mask, which is very interesting. I will say that two, three minutes into the mask, my forehead started to sting, but everywhere else just felt cooling. So it was very odd, but after a while um, with the mask on for a little bit, it doesn't feel like it's stinging or hurting or anything anymore. And it's just the sensation has settled down at this point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wash this off and we'll see what my skin looks like underneath. Okay, so before I completely rinse the remaining part of the mask off, I figured out what these little, well kind of figured out what these little pieces in the mask is. And I don't know if you can see that with the camera, but it's like these green leaves. So it's either green tea or it's centella leaves. So I'm not sure. Okay, so I completely, so I completely washed off the mask. This is what my skin looks like right now after the mask has been washed off. So, so far the mask made my skin feel pretty moisturized. It didn't feel tight at all and it doesn't feel like moisture was stripped away from my skin. And my skin looks a little bit like it's been brightened a little bit. I don't know if you can tell in this lighting, but in person, these parts right here uh, has gotten a little bit lighter. So that's quite interesting and didn't really irritate any of my little new pimple friends here at all either. So. That's um, nice as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it twice a week for two weeks So that should be a total of four uses and we will see how that goes Now that you guys know my first impression of the mask Let's go ahead and talk about what I liked about the mask after two weeks of trying it So the first thing I want to say is the packaging. I really like how it's in this capsule Super easy to travel with you can bring it uh, to a sleepover you could bring it overseas on a trip it's super easy to take with you so so small and just really useful all around packaging other pros that i liked about the mask is that it's very moisturizing and very hydrating i never once felt like my skin was tight or stripped away from moisture and it did have a pretty calming sensation as well I noticed after washing off the mask that my skin looked brighter and smoother and it didn't even crack when it dried on the skin. A lot of clay masks, once it starts to dry and you move your mouth or face just a little bit, it starts making cracks around your face. I felt like it didn't do that at all with this mask. And most importantly, it did not break me out. So moving on to what I didn't enjoy about the mask is that the bits and pieces of green tea in the mask, when you apply it all over your face, it creates streaks onto your face and some of you guys might not think that's a problem but for me it bothers me that they're streaking and I feel like uh, the parts where it streaks is not getting enough mask coverage so you have to be really really gentle and try to cover all areas I also want to say that it's not as satisfying as other clay masks where you can actually see your sebum get like absorbed into the mask like when it dries out and there's like little dots all over your face where your blackheads or pores are where it's like pulling out the uh, impurities. It doesn't really look like that with this mask and it also does nothing, nothing for my blackheads. My blackheads remain the same and I just felt like it didn't do much for that. I also noticed that the next day after using this mask, my face is a little oilier than usual when I wake up. So that's something I didn't really enjoy about the mask. So moving on to the next product, trying to keep it rolling is the uh, Sika Spot Patches. I left them at my parents house, I don't have it with me right now, but um, they are 
nine US dollars. There's 48 patches per pack. 18 of them is 10 millimeters and 30 of them is 12 millimeters. This spot patch is meant to protect troubled areas from continuing to get inflamed and infected. It absorbs spot secretion while giving the skin quick relief and recovery. And the patch itself provides strong adhesion and is waterproof to protect the wound while still being a thin layer. So how you would use the product, uh, typically, I like to use the spot patches at night right before I go to bed and after I cleanse my face. Before I apply anything onto my face after cleansing, I dry it and then put the patches over the um, acne. And then I continue with my skincare and then I go to sleep and the next day I just peel it off. And sometimes it's really satisfying to see a lot of the whiteheads or the impurities on the patches. So that's what I usually like to do with spot patches. With that said, let's go ahead and roll the clip of my first impression. First impression of the Zika X Care Spot Patches from VT Cosmetics and I decided it's a good time to try it out now because I'm getting a little bit of breakout. Some of it is already kind of has like a little white pus and then some of it is not really coming out quite yet. So I'm going to try the stickers on one for the pus and one for the other one that's not pusing quite yet to see if it can pull out the sebum and impurities and whatnot. I'm going to use this one. And here, I think that's where it is. I need here. And hopefully I got it. I think I got the edge of it, but that's fine. Okay. So far, it's like super, super thin. I don't know if you can see it. Um, yeah, it's like super thin and it sticks on pretty well. And I'm just going to let it sit overnight. And when we wake up, we'll peel it off and see what happened. So it's been a full day since, or a full night since I put these sticker patches on. As you can see, it's super thin and it looks like it collected some stuff here. We're gonna see how this goes for two weeks. Now that you guys know my first impression of the spot patches, let's go ahead and talk about the pros or what I liked about the spot patches after two weeks of using them. So the first thing I wanna mention is that I really like the different sizes in the patches because then you have the small patches for the smaller acne and the bigger patches for the bigger acne. I also wanna say that it adheres very well to the skin. It sticks really well and it's also very, very thin on top of that, so it almost looks invisible. It definitely does absorb all the secretions and all the impurities out from the pores or the infected area, and it's very satisfying to see when your white head goes straight into the patch when you peel it off. I also noticed that there is anti-inflammation going on as well, so whenever I use the patch on a really uh, inflamed area, the swelling decreases a lot by the next morning. and. The most importantly is that it doesn't hurt when I remove the sticker. A lot of patches are so sticky that when you remove it the next day, it just really hurts, but this patch did not do that. And as far as I'm concerned, I actually don't have any cons for the product at all. All right, so moving on to the very last product is the Sika Cream right here. 
This is about 28 US dollars. It has 50 milliliters of product inside. This cream is a soothing gel cream that is meant to provide deep hydration and moisture to act as a protection layer to the skin without feeling greasiness and oiliness. The cream soothes in a gentle and comfortable manner as it straightens the skin barriers. This cream is ideal for uneven skin texture and sensitive skin as it contains beta-glucan to improve hydration, ceramic NP, which enhances water retention capacity and pethenol B5 to calm the skin. So how you would use this product is that you wanna use it both morning and night as the very last step of your skincare routine. So basically this is the moisturizer and you just need to apply enough all over your face and gently massage it all over your face and pat it to let it absorb and that's it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and roll the clip of my first impression. and my skin's already been cleansed and I went through my skincare process. This is supposed to be the very last step of skincare, so let's go. I'm just gonna pour that much on my hands so far. Right now, it has a very strong centella medicinal herbal scent to it and it is a gel so it spreads quite nicely on the face okay so this is my face after applying the Sika cream and it's very lightweight super lightweight and it adheres to the skin very well the smell is not over the top with the medicinal herbal peppermint tea smell, it's not that aggressive. It's there, but you know, uh, it's not too in your face. Uh, around my eyes, I feel, um, it could be that my eyes are dry, not 100% sure right now, but the uh, it kind of feels minty-ish around my eyes. So far, my skin is feels hydrated and moisturized. I don't think I put enough on my forehead though, but yeah, so far, not bad. I'm surprised of how lightweight it is, but then again, it is gel, so that makes a lot of sense. Um, I'm going to check back in a couple of hours, and we will see how my skin is doing with the Sika cream. Okay, so it's been the day after using the Sika cream, and this is what my skin looks like right now. It's still hydrated, and it feels moisturized still. Uh, some parts of it look a little oily though, but it's not that bad. And then if you can tell, the acne that I was getting, the pimples I was getting here and here, that was inflamed before, is a lot smaller, so I was able to do that after one night. So that's very, very interesting. But yeah, and my skin looks pretty good to be honest. But I'm gonna keep using this for two weeks and we will see. Now that you guys know what my first impression of the cream is, let's talk about my two-week impression of what I enjoyed about the cream. First things first, I know I mentioned that almost all these products have a herbal medicinal scent to it, but this product, the scent is actually pretty light, which is really nice compared to the other products. I also really like that it has a gliding texture because it's gel, it glides easily all over the skin without having extra feelings of friction. I also noticed that it does get easily absorbed into the pores, which is really, really nice. And it isn't greasy either. I also noticed that when you first apply it, it feels non-oily at first, and it's very, very moisturizing. Like when I say it's moisturizing, it's really moisturizing. Now, there's a couple of things that I don't really enjoy about the Secret Cream, and the first thing is that once it sets into your skin, it actually has a sticky texture or feeling to it. So when I touch my face afterwards, my skin kind of sticks to my fingers and that bothers me a little bit. <laughs> and I know I said that it felt non-oily at first, but when I wake up the next day, like usually at night after I go to sleep and wake up, I usually feel like my skin has gotten pretty oily. And I actually wouldn't recommend this product if you live in humid temperatures because when it got really humid here, my skin just felt super heavy with this cream on. So I didn't really like that part, but when it was drier in Texas, I 
didn't have any problems with the secret cream. So I mainly noticed these issues when it started to get humid. So all in all, I think each of these products are really well-rounded and the most important aspect is that it actually didn't really break me out at all. Uh, if anything, it really helped push out the impurities of my pores to make it heal a little faster compared to if I just let it sit and it becomes a pimple for a really, really long time. At least after like two or one day of like me noticing I'm getting a breakout, these products really help push out the impurities. So I really like that uh, about these products. I will say that out of all of these products, my absolute favorite is their spot patches. I'm not gonna lie, the spot patches are my absolute favorite. And then it's gonna be the Sika mask, then the sunscreen, and then the secret cream. Um, that is the order of how I prefer these products. But if I were to recommend these products for anyone, I highly recommend it for those who have very sensitive and troubled skin, um, as well as those with dry skin, because a lot of these products are super hydrating and moisturizing. I mean, I guess oily skin too, because some people like have really dehydrated oily skin like I do. But if you're really looking for a product that really really helps keep your face hydrated and moisturized and you're on the drier side the secret cream and the capsule mask really good to go um the sunscreen i wouldn't highly recommend it for drier skins just because i felt like it was kind of on the drier side for me when you first apply it it really wasn't that bad but as it started to set i felt like my skin felt parched but um i will say that this sunscreen is probably really good for oily dehydrated skin so i think each of these products have like really good aspects to them. And there's not one of these products that I really absolutely hated or would never use again. I think each of these products are really well-rounded. Um, I just think that certain products of these would suit other skin types better. But all in all, it's really, really good for acne prone or sensitive skin, especially because it didn't break me out at all. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up here. I think we've talked about these long enough. So if you have any questions, if I left out any information at all, definitely leave them in the comment section down below. I will try my very best to answer all of your questions. And of course, if you found this video really helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!